I remember going to meet with agencies. Out of those five agencies, four of them asked me if I, there was any way I could change my accent because there was no way for me to get roles if I talked like this but looked like this. I'm getting real tired I'm, of this three-way relationship I'm with your insta. sorry, star. babe, I'm sorry. Look, I was just... I was just talking to the feed head, the feed producer who's interviewing me at the show tomorrow. That's how it starts. I play a queer Latina and an activist for the community of Boyle Heights. We're similar in the fact that Jessica is an activist, and although my title is an actor and I'm not an activist, I feel like I am that. I champion for Latinidad. I champion for my women of color and my Afro-Latinas. That's what I pride myself on. You both have a point. Yes, it was commissioned by a, a fucking colonizer, but I'm all for fighting comadre homophobia with queer love bombs. Although I am not a queer woman, I am, first of all, an ally of the LGBTQ plus community. Going into this role, I wanted to make sure that I was authentic to the role and to her walk of life. It's her just being in love and finding someone that she loves. I had to walk into her shoes with no judgment, that we were very different in that world, but there was so much of us that were similar. And I also along the way got so educated. And I think that's the best part of it. Me playing this role has opened up my world and allows me to now be a little more sensitive with a lot more subjects that I probably wasn't before. It's only for you. Mm. Ana, dile a tu negra encimosa que hay pan dulce y café. Being an Afro-Latina amongst the Mexican culture is very interesting because we're used to the narrative of Latinas looking a certain way. And we all don't look a certain way. Like, we want to claim so hard, like the Urupeo in us. We never claim Africa, yeah, we want to hear palos, yeah, we want to hear this merengue. That's where it comes from, it comes to the motherland. Let's embrace that. In this past year, I've finally seen scripts and roles and castings that's finally saying, we're looking for an Afro-Latina, and it's like, why has this taken so long? And why can I not walk into a room and look like this and not be said an Afro-Latina? Why can't it just be a Latina? And now I understand that I'm, I'm okay with it because I get to claim the blackness in me. And if that little title or label is gonna allow other little brown and black girls to be seen, I'm totally okay with that. Spectrum of Latinidad, you guys, spectrum. <laughs>